for more information on our projects and how you can take part in making Earth a more equal place. Hello everyone, my name is Swamp. When I die, you better bury me in a two feet underground Cause I already got these two feet on the ground and they're still walking The Volva Spaceship. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> A symbol for more equality in the entire universe. This brilliant creation was made by What Is Feminism Today? God awful name. If the name is any indication, Feminism Today is garbage. <laughs> and listen to this. Apparently, What Is Feminism Today does not have an editor. After the launch of our Volva spaceship and all the media reports, we received a lot of feedback and a number of requests. An article in a book, an invitation to the Summer Space Festival in Belgium, and a lot of mails of man who explained us how to improve the Volva spaceship. The Australian news called it lefty lunacy. But above all, we created many question marks. What the hell? <laughs> Are they trying to be funny by not wording this properly? I don't I don't get it. A lot of males of man who explained us how to improve. They're pulling my leg, right? No no one wrote that and thought it was a good idea. You're This is your feminist attempt at humor, isn't it? That that's what this is. Art can and should create question marks. For 10 years, I have loved combining activism and art, and I can guarantee you no one else has loved it. No one. No, just, just stop. Hugs and kisses from the other side of the universe. God, this is, this is gonna be painful. We are living in a time of a global pandemic. Oil and electricity prices are soaring, and the climate crisis is threatening our very existence. Man, right off the bat, you hit all the hot button issues. If I didn't know before that this was from a feminist publication, I could have guessed just from that intro. Meanwhile, billionaires are flying into space in rockets shaped like male genitalia. Have you ever noticed how feminists, for some reason, think that everything any man does is somehow related to the penis yet men don't ever actually talk about that or think that so in response everything they do has to do with vaginas i just <laughs> it's like amy schumer pretending to be a comedian by making jokes about her oh god i don't even want to say it but you know making those jokes because that's what men do except it's not I don't know. For us, this raised some very important questions. Shouldn't space be for everyone? And is a phallic-shaped rocket really the best way of getting there? Historically and scientifically speaking, yes. But until you made this connection in your feminist brain, no one was saying that they were phallic-shaped. Oh boy. Why are feminists obsessed with penises? We want to restore gender equality to the cosmos. So we've decided to revolutionize space travel forever. Introducing the Vulva Spaceship. And there it is in all of its glory. It even says Venus written on the side. Man, this is, I feel the empowerment. I can definitely feel it. And does anyone else think it's funny that the woman who's behind this said she likes to think outside the box, but then everything she does has to do with her box? I, I don't know. Seems strange. Together with scientists and space engineers, we have developed the first spaceship shaped like female genitalia. Tests in our wind tunnel have revealed that our unique vulva design is far more effective than traditional rockets. The shape is surprisingly aerodynamic, creating way less drag when the vehicle punches through the atmosphere. 
due to this optimized V-shape, it guarantees maximum fuel efficiency. Now, do you think they intentionally made every single line in this a pun, an innuendo? Or is that just coincidental? Is it because I'm looking at a vulva spaceship that now every word you say is somehow vulva related? And its exterior is made from reinforced carbon, enabling it to withstand the most extreme temperatures. We believe this proves beyond doubt that it is indeed possible to have other symbols flying through space. So while I was looking this up, I was able to realize that this is not serious. I mean, it is like it, it's fake. Like they're not actually trying to do this, but it's supposed to spark a conversation. So they actually think that this is important. Cause like I saw a bunch of people saying that like, clearly this is a joke. I mean, this has got to be parody something. No, I mean, it's fake in the sense that it's art. But it's serious in its message. <laughs> They're actually, they think this is making an important statement and apparently getting us all to talk about vaginas. We aim to lobby the European Space Agency, encouraging them to help realize this project. To do this, we need 500,000 signatures pledging support for our cause. Please sign the petition and share the project so we can show the world that female empowerment has a place in space. Why is it that the only thing that modern feminism can actually manage to accomplish is to make women look ridiculous? Dear Internet, dear supporters, first we want to thank you for all the signatures that we collected on our mission to create the Vulva spaceship. However, space travel is not the issue at hand. The true problems are here on Earth. Through our feminist work over the past 10 years, I've learned that discrimination comes in different shapes and that I'm privileged in many ways. You know, now that I hear her speak, I kind of feel bad for making such a big deal out of the terrible grammar. <sighs> this was clearly not her first language and uh, yeah, I, maybe she's right. We need feminism. That was, uh, that was very not nice of me. And did you actually catch the first few words that were in that long list of problems poverty rent going up greenhouse emissions world hunger racism and civil war man i didn't know that misogyny or anti-feminism was causing all of that man that is that's wild the process of learning and Maybe more importantly of unlearning, privileged behavior and views is long and most certainly never really over. We still have a lot of gender related issues in daily life, in politics, in economics, in education and in health. Yeah, we can all tell that you have done a lot of unlearning because anyone who could come up with what you just said has to have unlearned a lot. <laughs> I'm saying it was stupid, is, is what I'm saying. In nearly every area we take a look at, power is not evenly distributed. Worldwide women make up just 25% of national parliaments. We are not equally paid. All right, that's enough. Pay gap? Are you serious? <laughs> what year is this? This is uh, vintage feminism. You know what? Take me to the man in charge, all right? Get him on the phone. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind, all right? Because you, lady, are out of control. I need to speak to someone more level-headed. Someone, you know, a little more reasonable. A little more... Man. Anyway, my name is Swamp. Make sure you like the video, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Leave a comment telling me that... I can't believe you're getting so worked up over this. Ha ha, you're getting so upset. No, I'm laughing at an idiot, okay? So just get over yourself. <laughs> no one is freaking out. It's just stupid. I don't know.
Maybe I am triggered. I, whatever.